Hello, welcome back. In the last lecture, we automated TC001. Alright, so TC001 is basically creating a new user, and that username is Scott. Alright, so basically, if at the end of this uh, automation of TC001, I should expect to see a user called Jason, and then that user is not confirmed to use the application. Alright, so as I told you, this Moodle has three kinds of user. One is admin, second one is teacher, and third one is student. And this Scott, Scott user right now added as a student. Alright, and then, so basically after that, what's supposed to happen? The admin is supposed to log in and then see what things, what, which users needs to be confirmed. And based on that, he can click on this confirm link. So, so that is exactly what is the goal of the test case 2. Test case 2 is going to ensure that admin can confirm user registration. Here are the high level steps. You have to go to the home page, log in, and then enter this following user ID and password that is admin and welcome on. So remember, if you have used whatever I have given you, the the module binaries and then, then database dump, then your password should be welcome on, or else it should be something else. Whatever whatever you have done, you have to you have to give that password here. So now what we need to do, we need to follow these steps. So let's do that thing manually first and then come up with what are the steps and then develop the equivalent keywords for that. And then see if all those keywords being supported by our framework right now. If not supported, then extend the framework to support those functions. I need to go to login and I need to username is admin and password is welcome on. Then the next step is saying that expand the site administration menu on the left hand side. So in the left hand side you see this called site administration menu. So expand it. Then expand the expand the users menu. So you will see something called users menu. Let's expand it. Then it says that expand the accounts menu. Expand the accounts menu. And then click on the browse list of users. So click browse list of users. And here that Scott user is going to come here. Okay. That Scott. And then this is not yet confirmed. What is saying? That locate the Scott user right hand side and then click on confirm. You have to click on confirm. So this is the high level test case. So what do you need to come up? We need to come up with the equivalent steps. Okay, the way we did for TC001, we need to come up equivalent for TC002. And I have already done for done that for you. And this is how it's going to look like. This is user to open a browser, go to URL, click on login, enter username, enter password, click on login button. Then what I have done here, instead of expanding user menu, expand account menu, what I have done is we we have to confirm an user. We have to go to this link, Moodle admin user.php. Okay, either you can go to this link by the process that we are sent. We, we, we site administration users account, or you just can go directly to this page by the you know navigate to method. So what I've done, I have tricked Selenium. Instead of clicking all these things, I just go to Moodle admin user.php. So what I have done here in step seven. Sorry, this would be step seven. Eight. This is nine. Okay. So in step seven, what we have done, we have gone to the browser directly. That means I have skipped these steps. To be honest, the reason I skipped these steps, it is very difficult to find out how to locate this element. Because if if our goal is to 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 check the functionality that if we can confirm or not, then just directly going to this directly going to this page make more sense. But however, if you if your objective is to test if these functions or functionalities are working or not, yeah, then you have to basically find out what is the locator for this, you know, this button, and then click on that. Okay, so that I have not done it. And also to do that, if you want to, if you want to ever try to see, like now maybe this is, you can take a challenge to do yourself. If you inspect elements with Fireberg, you see that these are it's a very dynamic. I'm just going to go to browser and then confirm the user and then in confirm the user I'm going to click element link. So 
what is required here is everything you know basically all those keywords are available before I'm just reusing those things all right and now if you run this thing okay then you should see all these things would pass because this is what is supposed to work so what I'm going to do I'm going to basically already have run test case 001 so therefore I do not want to rerun again unless it's going to create one more user which I don't really want so what I'm going to do I'm just going to make those things know so that those things TC001 is not going to run anymore I'm just going to run TC002 if the test run fine then it would have confirmed this user so like you know if I'm if I'm going to go to this web page the confirm button should not be there anymore because the user is already confirmed to see that in action so let's run this program again so run as Java application okay so it's going on admin user it's just login as admin user it takes some time okay so it's now now we're an admin user so directly go to that page called admin user PHP and then we click on confirm so now the confirm button is no more there then we log out all right so now if you want to check a look take a look at this uh, thing so if you if you refresh this page this confirm button should not be available anymore okay so that means test case 002 also passed so what we have done so I don't know like you know, why my console is not showing here so you should see the console here so if you console I don't know for whatever reason my console is not working but it should have printing you all the system that out dot print alone. okay so that means this test case all, all passed so I have automated test TC001 and TC002 so what I want you to do to automate all these remaining things I'm pretty sure you will learn a lot of things while automating these test cases no doubt about that complete this project I will have the solution to this thing but I will not show that one on my YouTube channel or on the on the on, on our on our learning platform so if you have any doubts just send me a mail we will so contact me and then I will uh, will give you the solution thank you